Hey, what's up there everybody? Jamie Wagner here again. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my video here. What I got for you is the Google Nexus 7, the 2013 second generation tablet here. It's the 32 gig model. It's the Wi-Fi version only. And it's currently running Android 4.4 KitKat on it. And I want to do a video here for you guys to show you how to use the Android device manager that's associated with your Google account and that's available to you for free if you go in and register your devices under it. Um, if you lose your Android device, this will work for the Nexus 4 phone as well. Um, I did a video on that previously. So as long as they're associated with your Google account, you will be able to remotely locate them or perform a factory reset of these devices. Um, on today I'm going to show you how to do it on the tablet here. It's kind of like a hands-free remote um, uh, factory reset. So you want to do this stuff in advance before something happens. Um, again, this is only the Wi-Fi version, and I recommend trying this at home in front of your computer. You know, experiment with it. If you guys have the cellular tablet, this is probably even better for you guys. But um, I'm going to go ahead, and here we'll get started. I'll show you guys what to do. What you want to do first is go into your tablet. Make sure, real quick, that you guys have everything backed up. Um, all your data, pictures, files, music, whatever. Or in sync with your Google account. Make sure you guys... You know, have all this stuff backed out because what I'm going to show you here is going to wipe out this tablet and put it back to the welcome screen, which is, you know, setting it up just like it's fresh, um, like you, you know, just got it out of the box. Um, I did it on mine the other day and, you know, it restores it right back to the welcome screen. And after I enter all my stuff in and set it back up, it, it, it still was running Android 4.4. So if you've upgraded, you know, it's going to put you right back to right back to the very beginning. So again, make sure all your stuff's backed up. So go into all apps, go and, and in here you wanna choose your, not, not the tablet settings, but you wanna choose your Google settings, okay? And what you'll see when you first choose your Google settings is this screen. So you come down here where it says Android Device Manager. In here you're gonna see mine are already checkmarked. If yours aren't, make sure you checkmark those and you know perform a, a backup again just so it backs up your settings in, in your Google account. Um, by default, mine are checkmarked after I reinstall, so that works out pretty nice. And I did try this and it does work um, pretty nice if everything is functioning like normal. Okay, so as you can see there, remotely locate the device, allow remote lock and factory reset. So go back to your home screen here. So the tablet is pretty much ready to go as far as sending it the information to remote locate it or remote wipe. So what we got to do now is go to your go to your Google Play account and log in. Okay, guys, come over and make sure that you can see your information here, and you're logged into your account. And there's going to be a little settings tab, which is basically a gear, looking like a gear. And you want to um, come down and choose Android Device Manager. So if you watch over here, right now it's locating my Nexus 4, which it found pretty quickly. And um, there's, if you have a couple devices, there's an arrow right there. You select that arrow and come down and I'm gonna choose my Nexus 7 because that's what we're gonna do the, we're gonna do the wipeout on. So there it is, my Nexus 7. You can see a blue dot that it found it where it's at and it'll show you it's last located like the time and it, you know, approximate location. And what's cool here is there's a couple features here, ring, um, I apologize about the camera shaking, guys. I'm using my phone to do this, but I wanted to show you guys like a live Android device manager, you know, wipeout. So I'm going to actually click ring. And what this is going to do is it says ring device. Your device will ring for five minutes. Press power, power button on the device for it to stop ringing. So before, before I come over here and press ring, I'm going to put the phone back down on the uh, Nexus 7 so you guys can see. And we'll get it ready here. If you watch up top here where my finger is, as soon as I click ring, you're going to see the Android device manager symbol show up. Okay, it'll do that for five minutes. That was pretty fast. I mean, I literally clicked that and it immediately did it. So in order to stop that ringing, press the power button. And it'll shut off. So that's one way you can do it there. If you look, you know, say it's connected to Wi-Fi. Um, and it's in the house, lost downstairs, whatever. Check it out. Try this out. It's pretty cool. You can ring your device, okay? 
um, if it's powered off, it's not going to work. Um, but I know if it's um, on, if your device is on and connected to Wi-Fi in your house, you know, and it has a good solid connection, then it, it's going to work. So the other thing we can do here is we can lock the device. Okay. So if you, if you choose lock, I'm not going to do it, but I'll just show you guys you have the option to lock your device right there. And, you know, you put a password in. And I tried it the other day and it actually really works good. So you can remotely, you know, send a lock, a passcode, you know, to your tablet and it'll lock it. And then you have to put that passcode in to, to get in your tablet. The one we want to do here is the erase. This is going to be the remote erase. So you want to click that and you're going to get this pop up. Erase all data. This performs a factory reset on your device, your apps, photos, music. All that stuff will be deleted. And it says after you erase the device, the Android dev device manager will no longer work. Um, once you get your tablet set back up and you sign back in and sync everything up and you're reestablished and you're back to normal, uh, the Android device manager will work just fine. Um, that's basically, you know, once you wipe it, there's it's going to be wiped out. You will be, no, you know, so it's not going to work until you get everything set back up. And then it'll work again. So there it says also this resets permanent. Um, and it also mentions there about an SD card in the device. You may not have the option of removing the SD card if you have a cellular tablet and it's lost. So it just, you know, just kind of prompts you there that it may not be able to wipe the content of the SD card. So that's something to think about too. And it says if it's offline, it will actually perform the factor reset as soon as it goes back online. And that means like if it does not have a connection to cellular or it does not have a connection to Wi-Fi, it will not work until it's turned back on, okay? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and click erase, and then I'm gonna put the phone back on the tablet so you guys can see what happens. And without touching it, it will automatically power off by itself. And it may take a moment for it to happen, but there's there's the pop-up, and you can actually see where it just gave us a message. Actually, I received an email. Oh, can't do it because it's powering off. I was going to show you the email, but you'll get an email that's tied to your account, and it'll it'll you know tell you that it it's performing Android. The Android device manager is performing the wipeout, so it'll notify you if this this occurs. And there you can see it's erasing. I mean, this is pretty easy to do at home if you're trying it out to get an idea how it works because you are in front of your computer. You have a chance to, you know, test this, see how this works out. You know you have a good solid connection at home. I mean, the only issue I see is like not having a connection. So if you lost this and there's, there's no Wi-Fi connection to it and there's no cellular coverage where you lost it, then you're gonna have a difficult time um, recovering it unless it was left on and someone picks it up and carries it to an area where it's got coverage and you clicked erase on your Android device manager, then apparently what's supposed to happen is it will actually still continue to erase the device once it gets in an area where it has coverage. So if, if someone steals it and carries it to an area where there's coverage, it will still continue to wipe it out. So just take a couple seconds here and we should have ourselves right back to our welcome screen. And I went through this again, as I said before, and after I signed back into my Google account, I was right back to Android 4.4 KitKat, and I was logged into my Google account and getting all my updates and right back to normal. So I'll give it a second here, guys, and as soon as 
you know, we get to the welcome screen, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, be done with the video. I hope you guys get a chance to try this. It's pretty cool. And there it is, back to the welcome screen, just like when you pulled her out of the box. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching my video. I hope you guys um, like my video here and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thanks.